thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. If you do have an encounter to tell, send to SoCal Sasquatch Organization at gmail.com. We now have SCSO Keep On Squatching t-shirts available. See link in description below. Join the community and show it off wherever you go. Report number 34043, Class Alpha. Submitted by witness on Friday, March 2, 2012. Observation by a hunter through his scope by the New River Gorge Bridge near Fayetteville. Year 2007. Season, winter, month, November, date, day before Thanksgiving. State, West Virginia. County, Fayette County. Location details, New River Gorge. Nearest town, Fayetteville. Nearest road, Route 19. Observed. To keep it short, I was deer hunting in the New River Gorge in Fayetteville, West Virginia, and it was in 2007, the week of Thanksgiving. It was evening with about two hours of daylight left, and I noticed movement about 60 yards towards the gorge from my position. I raised my gun to view the movement through the scope. After holding it in position for 10 seconds or so, I saw a very large hand appear from the side of a large poplar tree. It was palm against the tree, and I saw fingers mostly. Then, to my surprise, I saw a head peek from around the large tree, and two large eyes affixed on a head if a creature I've never seen before. And I'm a hunter have been since I was eight. I'm now 38. The Bigfoot blinked twice while looking at me and then stepped back behind the tree. I viewed it for about 20 seconds while it was looking at me. My mind just couldn't figure out what it was and I knew what it wasn't. I had no desire to shoot it and very well could have but my mind and body almost seemed to be in a state of shock while viewing it. I had to cross near the location on the trail out of the woods and I was effing terrified even with a loaded deer rifle. My hair stood on end when I realized that I would have to go towards the location to get out of the woods. I called my uncle as soon as I got to my jeep and told him he believed me I am a very honest man and would never lie about this. The thing is though I never heard it run away or move through the leaves. And you can hear movement from 20 plus yards off in these woods. It's like it just disappeared. I came home very shaken from the experience and it changed my life. Now I know that it is out there. It was very cool looking. About seven feet tall, it had very dark, large pupils. And around the pupils, its eyes were almost owl-like. It had brownish blonde fur, and it had a visible face. It almost looked like the troll faces that you used to put on your pencils as kids, really, but it was very clean-looking and not what you would expect. Its fingers were long and thick with no fur, and it had dark fingernails. I had my scope on 9 power and it was equivalent to being around 30 feet from me visually. It was real and I would take a polygraph and swear on my life. Also noticed, no, other witnesses none I'm aware of, other stories I have heard of sightings in the gorge but not recent. Time and conditions about two hours before dark, cloudy, 45 degrees or so. Environment, top of river gorge in mixed Mesopithic forest. Follow up investigation report by BFRO investigator Russ Jones. I interviewed the witness who has multiple degrees from West Virginia University. He is a 39 year old avid outdoorsman. I hiked to the area of the sighting and was able to see the New River Gorge Bridge. One thing I found interesting was the power line right away literally at the location of the sighting. It is believed that Bigfoots will often use right of ways 
as a path to avoid humans and be able to travel long distances in a straight line. In addition, the right-of-ways create a natural edge, which is a prime area for wildlife to congregate. The gorge it's area itself is very steep with rough terrain. Report number 51180, Class Bravo. Submitted by witness on Saturday, February 13, 2016. Man recalls strange occurrences as a youngster in Weatherford. Year 1976. Season, winter, month, November, date after Thanksgiving, state, Texas, county, Parker County. Location details at the time Mr. J owned the property. It was at the end of the street across a cattle guard. It was a creek bottom and woods very secluded back then. Nearest town right on the outskirts of Weatherford. It is inside the city limits now. Nearest road Allen Street. Observed. Seen big dark something twice. I grew up on the east side of Weatherford. Born and raised on Town Creek which stretched from Sunshine Lake through Weatherford all the way to Annetta South. During the winter, I trapped and hunted fur-bearing animals. One night, on a weekend, I was walking the creek hunting coons and came upon a part of the creek where we all swam during the summers. And remember a horrible foul odor that would take your breath away. I was shining my light in the trees looking for eyes and heard what sounded like someone fall in the water. But by the time we got to where the noise came from, there was nothing. Only thing was the water was disturbed and kind of murky. I was 12 years old at that time and didn't think too much about it at that time. Now I think back to that time and one other incident and I know what it was. Also noticed a few days after that incident, the property owner stopped my buddy and I and asked why we had torn up the flood fence that crossed the creek at his property line. We told him that we didn't do any such thing and that the water was cold and over waist deep at that location. He still blamed us. We told him that the fence was not mangled and torn when we were there. That really made us wonder because whatever the being was, it had come back on the same path and had tore up the fence in just a couple of days. Other witnesses, yes. My best bud that I, I had went to school with from the first grade till we graduated high school. He was a shining light as I was. Other stories, five years before on the same property, my brother, a neighbor boy, and I all watched a dark object walk from the creek bottom across an open neck of field, step over a five-strand barbed wire fence, walk over railroad tracks, and disappear on the other side of the railroad tracks. We were several hundred yards from it, and I remember all three of us shooting BB guns at it. I do remember that it did not even turn to look at us. We got home, told my parents, and got in trouble. They said we were shooting at a hobo. That wasn't a hobo, but my dad said there weren't any monsters. In 1972, time and conditions. It was before 10 p.m. and very dark. It was pretty cold because I remember wearing a coat, rubber boots, and two pairs of socks environment. It was creek bottoms and some woods with Mr. J having a couple of hay fields. It was country from the VY Dock Bridge all the way to Annetta South. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator Gary Christensen. I spoke with a witness by telephone. He said that he had two or three encounters when he was a boy. The first occurred when he was six or seven in 1971 or 72. He and two other boys saw a large, hairy, biped step over a five-stranded barbed wire fence. 
walk over railroad tracks and disappear on the other side as he and the other boys shot at it with BB guns. He said that it was reddish brown in color and did not look back at them. Five years later, while coon hunting at night with a friend, the boys heard something very large fall in the creek. And two steps, whatever it was, made it across the creek another time. While camped on the creek, the witness and a friend experienced a rotten mud smell and heard large rocks being thrown in the creek. They also heard growls and a grunt that frightened them, and they left. Other incidents included a tree that they found that had been uprooted and planted upside down. A rancher friend reported calves missing and a cow killed and its intestines pulled out. These incidences occurred in an area that has now become a suburb of a city on the outskirts of the Fort Worth Dallas Metroplex. I have investigated several historical and recent encounters in this area. But due to the fact that nearly all of the land is privately owned, permission to do night investigations on site have not been obtained. I found the witness to be very sincere and lucid about his experiences. I found him to be a credible witness. <music>